Welcome to Travel Weekly TV, uh, where we talk with some of the travel industry's heavyweights, and in this case today, celebrities. I'm so thrilled to have Bruce here from G Adventures, global founder and CEO. Welcome. Thank you. And lovely to have you here today. Great to Let's be here. Let's start with G Lux, because anything that has Lux in its name excites me. Can you tell <laughs> sure. me more about what travelers can expect with this new product? Uh, well, it's, it's an active program at, at a higher comfort level. Um, you know, our data, our research, you know, we make a lot of decisions by data these days. Mm -hmm. And our research was, is obviously, I think everyone's research is showing that people are staying fitter and more active longer. Um, and they want comfort. They want a certain level of comfort, more comfort, but they don't want to actually, you know, take away the, the active nature, the adventure. But for us, it's more the community tourism nature. So we don't think you have to sacrifice comfort and premium. Uh, for the community experience and local community experience, uh, because you know when you when you you know when you push too much into luxury, you you risk stripping away the relevance of destinations. Mm. Um, but we wanted to find a, a good balance on that with Gluck, so we're pretty excited. The, the program's been amazing, and the launch has been outstanding. It's been the fastest launch product we've ever had. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, it is really interesting because we also have similar research at um, Travel Weekly that looks at how a more discerning traveler wants to do the community travel sure. and wants some luxury, but yeah. not necessarily the, what we could consider traditional five-star luxury, which does remove itself from the community. So that's, yeah. um, what's, I mean, which particular program are you most excited about? In, in, or um, I mean, I think, country, like, uh, what, you know, I, I think what I like is when we go to a traditional destination and we can make it different. I mean, everyone's going to Japan at the moment or, you know, Bali or Indonesia, um, but we can do it in a very different way. And, you know, we, we um, just before um, COVID, we had launched wellness programs and wellness has, is a different, has, a, is a, has a different slant to it. But it, it's kind of like a culmination of all those experiences, a bit of wellness, active, our classic, but also comfort, like um, and elements of learning, all of these things that um, make um, active holidays, um, you know, better from uh, older, more sophisticated audience. Um, so, I mean, I, I would say that, like, for instance, Peru is one of our biggest destinations in the world, but the G-Lux program, we, we can be so creative when people are, are willing to get away from the restraints of the comforts of luxury. And mm -hmm. so that's why we call it more G-Lux, which is more premium. So when we can sacrifice that, we can get you out into more remote areas and, you know, experience really cool communities um, and, still, and not sacrifice that community tourism element, which we've become famous for. And we're all fans of Tay Tay at Travel Weekly. Can you okay. tell us about You Belong with G? Uh, yeah. I, well, you know, it's funny because I have two daughters and I took them to see uh, Taylor Swift in Denver last year. I was just amazed at the energy, um, the community. You know, there was, there was 80,000 people in the stadium, but there was 100,000 people outside of the stadium. Mm. And how it created this kind of unified kind of um, just energy of positivity, especially in the states where it's quite div divisive at the moment and, slow mm. and divided. Um, and it, it just it just gave me an idea, and you know, just by chance, I got an opportunity. I, I, I met the CEO of Live Nation at a party. Conversation happened, and I was able to get 100 tickets or 120 tickets to various shows, I think New Orleans, London, and, and Toronto. And we decided to do something really special, just um, and, our and reward and, uh, our top sellers around the world. So 75 of our top sellers and supporters around the world will get a chance oh. to join us at one of the shows. That's um, great. And we get to also, you know, we, we have these great heroes of ours who are representing our brand and selling our product and we never meet them. Mm. Um, and, you know, we give them prizes all the time, but, you know, because we run different contests like every other brand. But this, I think, is just taking it to that one step further where we get to bring them into, because we're going to create these amazing community. We have boxes and all these, all these concerts and, it's just going to be a, a, a real, real fun. We get, we're going to meet some of our greatest supporters around the world, which is a benefit for us, and get a chance to, to thank them, but also create some a special moment for a lot of people. Fantastic. Did yeah. you get any from Australia? There were were there any uh, tickets from Australia? Oh well, they they did offer, but Australia was too soon because right. you know she came here in February. I think yeah, I did ask yeah. actually. We had a conversation because we needed it to be you know more to run to run the incentive. We had to kind of have it more at the latter half of the year. And so I think the first one's London is August, um, New Orleans is October, and then Toronto. Is I think this is what it is that you do that's really unusual. You have this mind that comes up with these really out there, expansive ideas, and yeah, that it, sounds like one know, of them. <laughs> this is one of them for sure. Yeah, because I when it came up, I I thought like, how can I weave this in to our story, um, and also take it take you know, um, you know all the positive 
it, the, the travel industry is a, a vast majority of travel industry is women. Mm. And, um, and Taylor Swift is, I mean, Taylor Swift isn't a, a just for women, but she has a, a very strong draw for, for women. So I knew it would be um, uh, something our brand wanted to be associated with. Mm. And young women too, yes, which yes. brings me to a question about young women. And what advice would you give a young woman traveling for the first time? Uh, do it with us. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I, like, yeah, I mean, we're we're sixty five percent women who travel with us, and it is, and the, that the reason being that most women don't have maybe not don't have a friend that will travel with them if they want to travel adventurous or more actively, whereas guys do, do, might generally have a friend so they're not going to do it on their own. So women have to, you know, they're our greatest customer, but also in 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 couples, women mm -hmm. are usually the deciding the, the deciders in travel. So. You know, for, for anyways, for, but for women traveling, I would say that you know travel is um, is a is, is a great thing for solo for solo female traveling. You know, with but get have it going with an operator that can give you that security of a group, mm. um, and don't just don't let it intimidate you because you can go to some of the most beautiful places with you know like minded travelers, um, and you, sh you, sh you shouldn't you know just because you have a, you don't have a friend or a colleague that will do it with you, don't let it stop you. Bruce, I love the way you made that connection, joy, because what I think. Uh, happened is joy is the, the one emotion that would I think most people would have described the Taylor Swift concerts at. and travel gives you joy as well. It, I mean, it's one hundred percent joy. And, and 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 you know it's funny you should connect that because that was the feeling because mm. like um, when you when you go to one of these shows it, it's a journey, mm. it's a journey. And you know I saw my daughters and my wife Roxanne just go on that journey from the moment they got the tickets to you know that whole kind of and travel is that journey as well. And certainly traveling with G has been joyful for me personally, having loved. Love traveling on a couple of your trips. Tell me about Change Makers. Yeah. Mm. Ah, well, Change Makers was created uh, before COVID. I think it was two before COVID, um, and it was to, to redefine the fan trip. So I've always had I've always had a, 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 a acrimonious relationship with fan trips. I see the budget line fan trips, and I would constantly be asking. Like what are what are they are they learning about what they do? Are the agent just looking for a free trip, which is okay, but let's just call it what it is. Yeah. Or if it's if it's just a free trip and they want to go out and party and have fun, then that's fine. But but are they really? Because you know we we feel one of the uh, most difficult things is we have a very complex brand story, mm. and so we want people to um, you know to experience our brand, and our, our fan trips really the best way to do it. So I challenged our department to create something new, our sales department, um, and then they came up with change makers. On the condition that I let it, so so that was another challenge. So I I would go on the first change makers, and we'd get in front of people and bring a hundred travel agents together from all over the world, right. and get them to experience community development, community tourism, poverty aviation, seeing it all in action. How you know how travel can be this transformational experience, and I would get a chance to meet with them, because uh, I'll be there on the ground, and so that's quite socially complex for me. But uh, it was it was an ama the first one was amazing where. I could get in front of people um, before they, and I could explain our motivation of why we invested in the Women's Weaving Co-op, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. or any of these projects that we have. Um, and then we, and then the people came back just electrified and just so you know educated about you know community development, community tourism, how travel can be better. That's exactly what we wanted to accomplish, and so it was quite it was quite exciting to when we created Change Makers, and then it took a hiatus, and now we're bringing it back. Uh, the next one being to India. Fantastic. Yeah. That's so exciting. Yeah. Okay, I've got a last question for you. I know you're a mad basketball fan. Yes. And Mad March is coming. March Madness. March Madness. <laughs> oh. <laughs> mad get the now and get the words right. <laughs> Would there be a G-Lux tour following that March Madness? Uh, well, March Madness is, is a US-specific sports thing. We don't do sports tours very well, G. Yeah. Um, so we've not really... Uh, you know, I have I just given you an idea. Yeah, you do. Uh, like, you do uh, we we randomly run into soccer games and sporting events with our group with our groups, but there's no and cricket, schedule of definitely sporting. in India. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, but uh, no, there's nothing connected to March Madness at this point. But uh, March Madness is coming, so you should. Are you are, are you a basketball fan? Basketball. Are you okay? Basketball. Okay. Well, <laughs> Bruce, thank you so much for your time. You. I really. You know, always enjoy uh, spending time with you. And thank you for tuning in to Travel Weekly TV. Thank you.